liberal viewer present. So when former U.S. Secretary of State Colin Powell went on Meet the Press on Sunday, Tim Russert brought up that one day that may have most undermined Colin Powell's credibility, his February 5, 2003 appearance at the United Nations, saying things like this. Every statement I make today is backed up by sources, solid sources. These are not assertions. What we're giving you are facts and conclusions based on solid intelligence. Now, as we all know, that intelligence turned out not to be that solid. And, as he had in a November 20, 2005 interview with the LA Times, Powell again claimed he was misled by unknown forces in the intelligence community who failed to reveal vital information to him as he describes here. I cannot tell you why within the intelligence community uh, the, the people who had put out burn notices, meaning don't trust this source, those burn notices never rose to the right level. And one of the things I'm most irate about is that I have reason to believe in, in, in the CIA, the nights we were out there till midnight every night, putting this presentation together and trying to make it airtight, there were people in the room who knew that burn notices had gone out on some of these sources and that was not raised to me or to Mr. Tennant. Why not? I can't answer that question. This is, this is for the others. You know, I'm not, I'm not the investigator of the intelligence community, but if I was, um, we, we would be having very long meetings about this. Then, on the subject of investigations, Powell goes even further. That may be because, up until this year, the Bush administration and the Republican Congress did everything they could to split up the intelligence investigations so that they never reached the subject of how the intelligence was used before the invasion of Iraq. That may be why Powell suggests even further investigation towards catching the culprits who so damaged American national security, as you can see in this clip. There have been a number of uh, uh, investigations. Uh, Mr. Silberman, uh, Judge Silberman did an investigation. We have different congressional uh, investigations underway. But, you know, the responsibility for looking into all that rests with the President of the United States, the national intelligence community, and, and the Congress. And, and I don't know if Congress has been using all the oversight power that it has to look into these kinds of matters. So what do you think? Is it finally time to do a real investigation of the manipulation of U.S. intelligence in the lead-up to the U.S. invasion of Iraq? And if there were such an investigation, who do you think is responsible for failing to give the most accurate information to Secretary of State Colin Powell before his 2003 speech at the U.N. that not only did so much to destroy Powell's credibility, but also greatly hurt the credibility of the entire nation? I, YouTube, you decide.